Hey Judy, this is Mandy. I thought I would do a little virtual tour for you of the garden. Um, I know you guys plan on getting up here, but there's a lot of stuff going on, and I know you're not up and around, so I thought I would bring a little bit of the garden your way. So this is this is in the front. There's the front of the house. Um, so this, two and a half years ago, this was the lawn, and that was, that was kind of it. These are valerian. Um, they smell delicious, and they're a little bit taller than me. This is where the blueberries used to be before they succumbed. <laughs> this is a shade garden over here. Um, from these trees that Josh absolutely hates these trees, but I'm just not going to cut them down. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh, so let's see. I'll try to go slower because if you pan too quickly it's kind of a blur um, so then out here is kind of the front front area you can kind of see um, from this end I realized that to me this is the back and I was kind of treating it like that and then I it dawned on me. That's actually what that everybody driving by sees. So you gotta fix that up a little bit. Um, and this whole last, oh, I don't know, close 12 feet or so was what Josh dug out last year. That was our new extension. Um, so yeah, everything is really going to town. Oh yes. The boysenberries are nearly ripe. There's a couple right there. Let's see. Some roses. The blue things are delphiniums. That's a favorite, favorite of mine. I have a friend that's moving, so I have all these plants I inherited <laughs> this last year, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's terrible losing her, but I, I'm enjoying getting her plants all right i'm going to make my way to the backyard now so back through this way and then this is an all new addition this year back here this is josh's project these are all sunflowers <laughs> and then this is our new irrigation setup that we've been working on primarily Josh uh, <laughs> so these are sunflowers that seeded themselves from last year and that's why they're so big um, then all these little whoa don't step on that <laughs> all these little guys are are from this year seeded and they're awful thick um, <laughs> uh, some of them have been thin but a lot of them are, are very thick so it will be interesting to see how they go um, this all this cool ground is just ready to be dug in so um there's that there's a little shade garden that was our pedestal for our last sink it's a uh, now bird watering station <laughs> they've yet to find it though it's only come up in the last couple of days this is also a new bed um as is this one here in front of the strawberries and pine berries and these are my little nursery seed babies that are waiting for the heat wave to end so I can finally transplant them out. Um, this is all the stuff that's kind of unhappy to be in pots. This is our little dinky apple tree. A little teeny tiny apple. And then this back here is the backyard garden. Um, let's see. So I will start over here. This is a little shade garden that's usually mostly in the shade. Um, and then this over here is our little native bed. And you can see I just dumped a bunch of red wood on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's that fireweed that is super cool. This is the peas, some of the peas. If you look, they just go and go and go. This first section is snap peas and then for the back is the shelling peas. Those are those are what my favorite is. Um, onions and potatoes, more peas, 
This is where I just put a bunch of pipes in so I can try some <laughs> more peas to try to get them to grow in the summer. Uh, let's see. So, go back here. This grass is actually bird seed, and we let some of it go last year, and it's just adorable because the birds come and like peck at it. So, a lot of these things are are for them. Um, the amaranth, they just absolutely love this red one that's here everywhere. This, they will just hop on and eat, 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 eat the juncos. So, uh, I'm letting it go. So, raspberries in the back there. Peas. <laughs> this piece of wood Josh picked up. Um, from where his shop used to be and it's super cool. The only problem is this mullion is growing right in front of us so I think we're going to move the wood so we can see it better. Um, all the birds come and sit on it so it's it's functional as well as cool looking. And then these crazy poppies seeded themselves from last year and <laughs> they're cool. They're, they're I think they're called the peony poppy and you can tell why because look at that. That's pretty intense. This is a lacy phagelia, and the bees just absolutely love it. Um, and more little nursery stuff that needs to be planted out soon. Chocolate dahlia. My little, uh, oh gosh, pitcher plant. Uh, water feature. <laughs> little smoke bush. I have a lot of things that will get entirely too big for where they are, but I'll either terribly prune them or take them out or figure something out. Because if, if, if one thing is apparent, I like to crowd everything together. Um, there's a little bird area. And I guess here's our little herb garden. And yeah, I think that's kind of it's kind of a good uh, overview. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we love you and we're thinking about you. And I hope this little video brightened your day. All right, take care. Bye.